you wish to play Minecraft to its fullest extent, would you like to utilize the same tools as your favorite YouTubers? Or do you simply just want to customize your Minecraft world? All of this will be doable with mods. Everything will be thoroughly explained, including where to locate mods and how to install them quickly. People have created some amazing stuff, and mods have become extremely popular. There is a mod for just about anything that you can think of. So how do you find mods to use? For example, there's CurseForge, Modernth, Reddit, Discord, and YouTube. Those are just a few websites and online communities where you may get mods for Minecraft. On these sites, you can look for specific mods using the search tool or browse the categories to see what's available. CurseForge is the biggest website and very well known. CurseForge offers both Forge and Fabric mods. More and more mods these days use Fabric, but there's still a sizable portion of mods that use Forge. It also has a vibrant community where you can share your own mods and receive comments. In comparison to CurseForge, Modernth is a more recent platform meant for mod creators to share their mods and for other users to find new mods. Although it's new, it's still worthwhile to look on the website because some developers only put their mods on Modernth. Modernth is actually my favorite place to look for mods currently, but it does depend on what you are looking for. You can also browse the Minecraft subreddits on Reddit to see what other gamers are using. The largest subreddit for modded Minecraft is r slash feed the beast. Another great place to look for mods is of course YouTube. Look for videos featuring Minecraft mods from Asian Half Squid or other well-known YouTubers who are recognized for doing so. There may be highlighted or popular mod sections on the websites that I've listed so far. These sections will show what the community is using and what they like. And finally, another place to look for Minecraft mods would be Discord. Ask other Minecrafters what they're using and what they suggest you to use. You could discover some excellent mods this way because many players are happy to share their favorite mods with others. Okay, now that you found a mod that you want to install, I'll show you how to download and install it the easiest way possible. First of all, you need to stop using the default Minecraft launcher. It is very bad when it comes to modding and makes things very difficult. You can refer back to my video on Minecraft launchers if you'd like. However, in this video, I will demonstrate how to install mods using both the Prism Launcher and the At Launcher. We will start with the At Launcher for this tutorial because this launcher is a little bit more simple and easier to use than the Prism Launcher. Alright, first you need to download the launcher from the website. The link is in the description. While this installs, wait until the end of the video for my favorite mod recommendations. Once you have the launcher downloaded, go to Accounts and get signed in. You have to own Minecraft to use these launchers. Do not use the T-Launcher as it is not trusted. Check out this video by Mr. Epic for more information. Okay, now go to the vanilla pack section. Then pick the game version that you want to play. Then you need to choose a mod loader. Find out what the mod you want uses and go with that. If you're wondering what Quilt is, it's about the same as Fabric, but a little bit more optimized and Fabric mods work with it. For this video, I just go with Fabric and then just add the instance. Another option would be to go to the Packs menu and download Simply Optimize from the Modern section. This mod pack gives you a ton of FPS and I just simply add mods on top of it. Once you've downloaded one of these instances, go to the Instance menu. Once here, you should see your instance. All you need to do is click Add Mods and then search for the mod you want, whether it's on Modernth or CurseForge. Some mods have dependencies, meaning they need other mods installed for them to work. The At Launcher will tell you what is required. But if your mod doesn't show up when you search for it, let me show you what to do. Go to Settings, Mods, then Add Mod Restrictions. Change this to Show Mods for the major version of Minecraft. This is because the mod you're trying to install may be for 1.19.x, which works with 1.19.3, but doesn't show up. Make sure the mod you want to download is available for the game game version you chose. Now that should be everything you need to install mods using the At Launcher. Now for the tutorial on how to install mods with the Prism Launcher. First, download the launcher and any dependencies if you need them. Then launch the EXE and choose your language. For this launcher, you have to install Java 17. I'll quickly show you how to install it. Go to this website and download the one for your computer. I'm on Windows 11 64-bit. After installing, go back to the launcher and click refresh, and it should be detected. I personally allocate more RAM, but this is totally optional. But if you have extra, then go ahead and do so as well. And then click finish setup. Next, go to accounts, manage accounts, add Microsoft account, and get signed in. Then click add instance. And then select the game version that you want, the mod loader, or again, you could go with a mod pack. I choose forge this time. Then click okay. On the right side, click edit and then click Mods. 
From there, click Add Mods at the top right, and then choose whatever you want. If a mod you installed requires other mods installed as well, when you launch the game, an error will show you what mods you need. If your mod isn't showing up, change the filter right here. Okay, but now what if you don't know what mods to install? Well, let me show you a couple picks that I really like. Starting off with the Distant Horizons mod. It lets you see so far into the distance. It's like you're playing with an unlimited render distance. It's so cool. The next mod I want to show you is called Terra. As you can see, it added all these new biomes around me. It is super cool and really enhances the experience of Minecraft. The next mod I'm sure you've seen, it's the physics mod. It adds physics to just about everything in Minecraft. It is super fun to play around with, even just throwing blocks on the ground or breaking blocks. It really enhances Minecraft. Another cool mod is the Better Combat mod. It changes the combat system in Minecraft and makes it much better and more fun. For the final mods, I'm going to show you mods that add structures to the game and overhaul the nether and end dimensions. These mods sprinkle tons of structures throughout the world for you to explore and find. There's tons of variation as well. So the mods that add the end overhaul, the nether overhaul, and all of these structures are called Explorify, Additional Structures, Immersive Structures, Better Nether, and finally Better End. All of these improvements look incredible and add a lot of depth to the game. When you're exploring and adventuring, it really enhances the overall experience. It really is too much to show because of how many structures they add. They even add structures to the end dimension and nether. The nether is my favorite by far because of how expansive and incredible it looks. The villages really add a layer on top as well, including all the dungeons and other structures that it adds. The end is very impressive as well. I really hope to find more mods like this, so please let me know in the comments if you know of any other cool mods you want me to feature. I hope these mod suggestions help you and maybe give you ideas for other mods you can try out, but that is all I have to show you for this video. In the near future I will be doing mod showcases, so look out for those. If you have other video ideas please let me know in the comments. So in summary, use YouTube, Reddit, Discord, CurseForge, and Modrinth to find your mods. Find out if they are Fabric or Forge mods, and then using the At Launcher, set up your instance for compatibility. Then all you need to do is add your mod. You're ready to start enjoying all the mods that Minecraft has to offer. Don't be afraid to experiment with different mods and see what works best for you. I hope this tutorial has been helpful, and if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to ask. Also, make sure you check the video description, it's filled with tons of relevant information. Thanks for watching, and happy modding!